Hi, in this video I will share the previous year's question paper on the Master of Computer Applications Term End Examination June 2023 of Subject MCs 212, Discrete Mathematics. The first question the given two variable expression is is a contradiction and also verify the given two variable is a tautology. Let's verify if the expression ABA is a contradiction. A contradiction occurs when there is no assignment of truth values to the variables that makes the entire expression true. In this case, ABA is a contradiction if there is no combination of truth values for A and B that satisfies the expression. Let's consider the possible cases. If A is true, T, then A is false, F, and AA evaluates to F therefore, the entire expression is false. If A is false, F, then AA also evaluates to F. In either case, the expression ABA is always false, making it a contradiction. So, ABA is a contradiction. To verify whether ABAB is a tautology, we can use a truth table. The expression is a tautology if, and only if, the columns for AB and AB are identical in terms of truth values. The truth table is as follow as. Now let's compare the both columns answers. Since the columns are identical, because given expression is a tautology. The next question is to reduce the given Boolean expression to its simplest form. To simplify the Boolean expression, you can use the absorption law, which states that P and of P and Q equals P and Q for any propositions P and Q. Applying the absorption law to your expression. We can get that the simplified form of the Boolean expression is X1 and X2. The next question is find the inverse of the given function FX. To find the inverse of the function, we can follow these steps. The final answer is the inverse of function fx equals cube root of x plus 3. What is Kleene closure? Find Kleene closure for sigma equals 0, 1. The Kleene closure often denoted as sigma asterisk of a set of symbols sigma is the set of all possible strings that can be formed by concatenating zero or more symbols from sigma. For the given set of symbols sigma equals 0, 1. The Kleene closure sigma asterisk includes all possible strings that can be formed using the symbols 0 and 1, including the empty string. This set includes strings of any length, including those formed by repeating zeros and ones, concatenating them in various ways, or having no symbols at all. In formal notation, sigma asterisk is the set of all strings over the alphabet sigma, including the empty string denoted by epsilon. Mathematically as follow. It's the set of all possible combinations and repetitions of the symbols 0 and 1. What is the multiplication principle? Use it to find the number of ways to choose two persons as president and vice president from a party of 35 members. The multiplication principle, also known as the counting principle, states that if there are n1 ways to do the first task and n2 ways to do the second task, then there are n1 times n2 ways to do both tasks. In the context of choosing a president and vice president from a party of 35 members. Choosing the president, there are 35 members in the party, so there are 35 ways to choose the president. Choosing the vice president, once the president is chosen, there are 34 remaining members to choose from, since we don't want the vice president to be the same person as the president. According to the multiplication principle, the total number of ways to choose both a president and a vice president is the product of the ways to choose each position individually. Total ways equals ways to choose president times ways to choose vice president. So, there are 1,190 ways to choose a president and a vice president from a party of 35 members. Briefly discuss inclusion-exclusion principle with suitable example. 
The inclusion-exclusion principle is a counting principle used to calculate the size of the union of several sets. It provides a systematic way of counting the number of elements in the union of multiple sets, accounting for the overlaps between the sets. The principle is often expressed in terms of the cardinality of sets A, B, C, and their intersections. Here, the terms with an odd number of sets are added, and the terms with an even number of sets are subtracted. Suppose you have a group of students who can speak French, F, German, G, or Spanish, S. You want to find the total number of students who can speak at least one of these languages. Let F equals 20, students who speak French. G equals 15, students who speak German. S equals 25, students who speak Spanish. Also, suppose, FG equals 5, students who speak both French and German, FS equals 10, students who speak both French and Spanish, GS equals 8, students who speak both German and Spanish. And let FGS equals 3, students who speak all three languages. Using the inclusion-exclusion principle we get the answer is 40. So, there are 40 students who can speak at least one of French, German, or Spanish. The principle helps us account for overlaps to avoid double counting. A Eulerian graph is a graph that contains a cycle, a closed loop, that traverses each edge exactly once. In other words, it is a connected graph in which we can find a closed walk that includes every edge of the graph exactly once. This closed walk is known as an Eulerian circuit. For a graph to be Eulerian, it must satisfy Euler's theorem, which states that a connected graph has an Eulerian circuit if and only if every vertex in the graph has an even degree, the number of edges incident to the vertex is even. The above graph is a connected graph, and the vertices of this graph contain the even degree. Hence we can say that this graph is an Euler graph. What is tautology? Show that the given expression is a tautology. A tautology is a compound statement that is always true, regardless of the truth values of its individual components. In other words, for every possible combination of truth values of the variables involved, a tautology always evaluates to true. Here is the truth table for the given expression. In each row, we can see that the final column is always true, regardless of the truth values of P and Q. Therefore, the given expression is a tautology.